piggy people. So today I am giving the guinea pigs some Sherwood recovery food with probiotics in it. So I have a couple guinea pigs who are on antibiotics. Now this isn't going to hurt any of the guinea pigs to have. So when you give one pig from the herd some, everybody wants some. So the reasoning I'm giving probiotics is when you give antibiotics, it kills good and bad bacteria in their GI tract. And when it does that, it can offset the balance and that can cause them to have strange poops, which can lead to like bloat or GI stasis. So one to two hours after you give antibiotics, you can give them some probiotics. So we use Benabac powder, which we get from Hop Online, or you can get that from Amazon. I'm sure maybe Pet Smarts have it. You can also take piggy poop from a healthy pig who's not on meds and mix it in here too. So whoever is up first, so as I said, the, it doesn't matter that the pigs are getting it who don't need it. Probiotics are a healthy thing. So what I personally use is a one mil syringe and the tip's been cut off so that nothing gets stuck in it. And it's also a little bit more on the watery side. Oh, so raisin's always crazy. If you don't have a good hold on the syringe, she just takes it right with her. She's a bit of a wild beast. Yeah. She's one who actually needs it, because Raisin did have a UTI. So we only have a few more days of antibiotics left to do. And she has responded wonderfully. Oh, little T-Rex! I always find Raisin so fascinating, because she does not like you to touch her or try to pick her up. Yeah, if you have some food, she's all over you. Velvet doesn't need any, but it's good practice for taming her. Velvet, here we go, pretty girl. Oh, you're chewing hay. It's okay. Good girl. Look at Velvet's eyes. She has the cutest little eyes. Good girl, Velvet. That's a good girl. It really helps with their confidence if you hand feed them. So, even just use hay to hand feed them, like pick out their most favorite piece of hay, and that works too. Hey sweetie, good girl. Okay, we might have a, a little hoard on our situation. So I can't give Pecan anything that has the probiotics on it. So she has the chronic digestive issues, and giving her probiotics I found a long time ago just upsets her stomach. Good boy, Hucky. So Apple's the other one who I actually need to give the probiotics to. Here, sweetie. Oops. I just got it on your face there. Good girl. I need more hands to do this because everybody wants some now. Okay, Reese. Back to you. Like a pudgy little ball when she's standing on her back feet. <laughs> okay, Ray. Okay, Apple, you need some more, sweetheart? I'll get you more, Velvy. I'll get you more, sweetie. It's so nice just seeing Velvet like trust to come over for stuff, so. Will you chew in your hay? Chew, chew, chew. Here, sweetie. Here, Velvy. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good job. There we go. Okay, who's up next? Oh, look who it is. Good girl. What about you, Apple? I'll get you more because you're one of the piggies who actually should have some. It's also nice to do this up watery because then they're just going to get hydrated. You know, flush out their bladders a little bit. Ray Ray, come over here. Ray Ray. You're going to make me come to you? Look at that tummy.
You're so cute. Okay. Got quite a bit left still. Does anybody want more? What about you, Hucky? Hucky. Oh, Velvy? You're too slow, Huckster. Good job, Velvy. That's a good girl. So feeding them with a syringe is also good practice for if they ever needed to be hand fed, that they're kind of used to how it works. Although sometimes when piggies are sick, it's not really hand feeding, you're more force feeding. But still, it can help for them to understand what's happening and that they're going to get food out of the syringe. You love food. Okay, pigs with their little paws up when they're on their back legs is just so cute. Sorry, sorry pecan. I'll make some up without probiotics for you. Or you can have more Velvie. Oh, you're feeling very brave today. Very brave. She has the kindest eyes. They're just so sweet looking. Good girl. You're so brave today. I love it. Nothing makes me more happy than the herd all back together and everybody happy. We have nothing rowdy happening anymore. No Reese humping everybody. Apple and Reese are happy together again. Everything's all good. Apple, do you need any more? So we're still finishing up fungal meds for Apple. She had the yeast fungal infection. So we've got another week of those left to go. And fingers crossed that she'll be all clear at the end. You have some on your nose. But yeah, I can't get it because she doesn't like to, you to touch her. Okay. Do you need a bit more? I love her front feet. A little chocolate brown and then one that's orange. Okay, Belby, do you want any more? Hey, sweetie. Oh, I got it on your nose, too. Everybody's got it on their nose. What about you, Huckster? Do you want more? Good boy. So next up, a special batch for PKN that's just the Sherwood Recovery Food and Water, no probiotics. Because that, for whatever reason, bugs her tummy. Hey, sweetie. Special stuff just for you. I didn't want to leave you out. I felt bad. What do you think? Good girl. You have the face of an angel, don't you? Good job. Oh, the syringe is stuck. There we go. Good girl. There's a little monster. We already had a bunch. How can you possibly need more, Ray? Woody, whoops, you just got told to take a hike. But you came back. Ray, Ray, you already had a whole pile. This stuff is for tubbies only. Oops. Sorry, how did I can't reach? Sorry, there you go. This is really hard to do with one hand. To load the syringe and then squish it out properly. There we go. It takes real talent. 
everybody's got to be good at something. Oops, apparently I'm not even good at this. There we go. Good girl. I think there's just one more full pecan, and that's, that's that. There we go. That's it, Reason. <laughs> That's it. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!